it's JJ, and this is Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we're going to the most Instagrammable place on the planet, Santorini, Greece. Santorini's volcanic activity plays a role in many of the island's popular activities. From swimming and sunbathing at the molten dyed beaches to exploring ancient ruins once buried in ash, even the flavor of the wine here is affected by the island of volcanic terrain, making a trip to one of Santorini's many wineries a must-do activity for foodies. If you're an outdoorsy type, you'll enjoy hiking along one of the trails where the city of Atlantis was said to have once stood. Whatever you choose to do in Santorini, you can't miss the sunset from Ia or while dining al fresco in Almudi Bay. Now stay tuned to the very end of the video. I have an awesome tip for my Instagrammers at the end. So let's jump in to the 10 amazing things to do in Santorini, Greece. Number one on the list is Kamari Beach. Santorini's volcanic history has led to the formation of some of the more unique beaches in the Greek Isles. And Kamari Beach is no exception. Sitting about four miles southeast of Fira, on the island's east coast, this stretch of black sand is one of the largest in Santorini. The beach is backed by the town of its namesake, a popular resort area where you'll find numerous hotels, restaurants, beachside bars, and shops. Number two on the list is a Moody Bay. For beautiful views of the caldera, descend the 300 steps from the northern city of Ia to the charming port of Amudi Bay. Surrounded by striking red cliffs and dotted with whitewashed buildings typical to Santorini, this little village features several quaint taverns serving up the catch of the day. Aside from digging in the bounty of the sea, you can enjoy some of the swimming here. Though the beach is rocky, you should bring appropriate footwear, especially if you plan on cliff diving, which is a popular activity to do here. Number three on the list is Fira to Ia Hike. The best way to take in Santorini is to walk, and there is no better route than the one from Fira to Ia. This hike is six miles long one way and passes through four towns. It's also important to know that there is no marked trail or pathways for this hike, but it is a matter of following the roads closest to the caldera. Along the way, you'll find numerous stops worth stopping for in addition to the spectacular ocean views and picturesque towns. One of these is Skaros Rock. Today, this headland is a popular vantage point for watching sunsets. But in the past, it used to house a castle that served as the prime meeting place for Christians during the 1800s. There's also numerous churches dotted throughout, including the Blue Dome St. Gerasimo's Church which offers excellent views of the volcano. Once you hit Ia, you'll find a castle in ruins open for exploration. Best time to take this trek is in the morning because there's little to no shade in the afternoon. The terrain is also very rocky, so you may want to also wear your most sturdiest shoes. Without any stops, this hike can take about three hours However, with all the photogenic spots along the trails, be prepared to stop a lot. <laughs> Even though the hike is considered moderate, it is considered to being the best way to experience Santorini's natural beauty. 
Number four on the list is Ancient Thera. Separating Kamari from Parisia on top of Mesa Vaona is Ancient Thera. This archaeological site, which was first claimed by the Dorians in the 9th century BC, is home to ruins from the Hellenistic Roman and Byzantine era. Stroll through ancient Thera and you'll find ruins of ancient religious sites, a theater, old city, administrative buildings, and even a gym for military training. You'll find the ruins of ancient Thera to be very interesting. And you will be shocked by the breathtaking views of the Aegean Sea. Number five on the list are the winery tours. When conjuring up images of famous wine destinations, you may think of France or Italy, but believe it or not, Santorini is considered to be a prime wine destination in Europe. That's because the soil in which the wine grows in Santorini, which is partially composed of volcanic sediment, creates an interesting flavor difficult to find elsewhere. Not only that, but here the vine trees are often formed into circles and grown on the ground instead of upright in other places to protect the crop from strong ocean winds. Wineries can be found all over the island, but most are concentrated in central Santorini. Number six on the list is the Wine Museum in Santorini. This wine museum is found in Fira. It's located in a cave. The museum showcases Santorini's history as a wine producer and offers you a tasting with their ticket. When visiting the winery, you'll receive complimentary snacks such as bread and cheese along with their tasting. For those who may not have the time to take a day out to visit the winery, this is a great option. And after visiting the museum, if you don't have time to visit the wineries, many of Santorini's wines are featured on the island's restaurants. And don't forget to ask your server about local wines. Number seven on the list is Red Beach. Located less than a mile southwest of ancient Akrotiri, this beach earns its name from its towering red cliffs and dark sand. The scenery is absolutely stunning. So be sure to bring a camera to take a photo of the stark contrast between the brick red cliffs and the aqua marine water. Now, it is also important to know that since 2013, Red Beach has been on watch for landslides. So if you're uncomfortable visiting this attraction, but still want to get an eyeful of the red cliffs, you can see a sight from Amuri Bay. Number eight on the list is Ancient Akrotiri. This fascinating archeological site was first discovered in the late 1860s, but its buildings date back to earlier than the 17th century BC. This former Minoan outpost, which according to Greek Ministry of Culture, is considered one of the most important prehistoric settlements of the Aegean Sea, and it was once a thriving port town. The city was later destroyed by a massive volcanic eruption, the same one that has made Santorini look like it does today. Thanks to years of excavation, enough of the site has been uncovered to allow you to explore. Here, you can look at multi-level building, loads of pottery, and even drainage systems. What is absent, however, is any sign of its former residences. This has led scientists to believe that the previous inhabitants knew of the eruption and fled the island accordingly. I strongly recommend securing a guide to take you around the site and explain much of the history. Otherwise, you may think you're just looking at a bunch of rocks. <laughs> Number nine on the list 
is the Museum of Prehistoric Thera. Taking a trip of the Museum of Prehistoric Thera is a great way to finish exploring the ruins of Santorini's ancient cities. This tiny museum in the heart of Thera houses frescoes and other archaeological treasures found during the excavation of ancient Akrotiri. Some of the pieces here date back several thousand years and offer insight into early human life on the Greek islands, making this an interesting place to check out if you're keen to learning more about the island's histories. It's best to visit this museum after you visit Akrotiri. It gives a greater context to the story of the ancient Akrotiri. Since the museum is fairly small, it takes only about 20 minutes to visit this museum. So it doesn't take much out of your trip, but if you're an art and history buff, it's a very, very good option to see before leaving Santorini. And number 10 on the list is Santorini Instagram tour. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. <laughs> there is a whole tour dedicated to taking beautiful, mesmerizing pictures in Santorini. You see them plastered all over Instagram with the beautiful whitewashed buildings, blue domes, and sparkling waters. I've listed down below a Viator Instagram tour. And if you don't want to spend the money on the Instagram tour and you want to save that to enjoy all the wonderful foods and restaurants, I've also listed a couple of blogs below that gives you pointers and places where you can take the photos for free. <laughs> and also listed down below, I have put the link for the iconic dress photos in Santorini. Yay, friends, you made it to the end of the video. I would love to know where you are watching from, so please do not forget to comment that down below. And I also wanted to mention the best time to visit Santorini. Best time to visit is from September to October and April to May. That's when the weather is warm and the crowds are scarce. Santorini welcomes most of its visitors during the summer, so I always recommend to book your summer travels well in advance. Have a very fun and safe time in Santorini, and until next Tuesday, bye!